is the Lifetime Achievement Award. Before I announce the name, I would request everybody, I'll be reading the CV of this great personality, and once I have read the CV before you all, I'll request you all to give a standing ovation, and we'll have a video message from the eminent personality who's receiving this award. The name is Mr. Iftikar M. Kadri, partner and principal architect, IMK Architects, and the award is Sir Moksha Gundam Vishwashwarya Trophy. I will now be reading the CV of uh, Mr. M. Iftikar Kadri. Iftikar M. Kadri, founder, partner, and principal architect of IM Kadri Architects and Kadri Consultants Private Limited, is recognized as an award-winning Indian architect. He was born in Ahmedabad in 1929, finished his schooling in Delhi at Jamia Millia Islamia, and studied engineering from Pune College of Engineering. The Mumbai-based architect established his practice in 1960, and through his career spanning over five decades, has left his imprint on landmark buildings in several cities of India, the Middle East, and Hong Kong. These include hospitals, five-star hotels, educational institutions, college campuses, industrial townships, and a film city. Participating in a nation that witnessed mammoth transformations and ideological shifts in a brief span, Mr. Kadri believed in architecture as being the force that builds human societies and lifestyle over time. His role in modernizing the architecture of India is seen in the evolution of his projects. He has been actively involved in finding solutions for the housing problems of Bombay. The government of Maharashtra appointed him as a member of the High Power Steering Committee, Steering Group, sorry, for slums and uh, for the slums in Bombay in 1981 and as member of the Executive Committee of the Bombay Metropolitan Region Development Authority in 1994. The government of Maharashtra, in recognition of his extensive social work, appointed I.M. Kadri, the Sheriff of Bombay, in 1994. There's a video message from Sri Kadri. We'll have the video message, and then, of course, I'll request everyone to give a standing ovation on this particular award. Let's have the video message first. I'm very thankful to CIDC for awarding me this uh, award, and uh, I'm very, very thankful to them. I unfortunately cannot come to, for this uh, occasion to participate in this uh, valuable gathering which are going to be award. I said, uh, I wanted to be architect at a very early age. I was in Jamia at an early age in Delhi, and I saw the building done by the Carl Walter Hein, and I was so impressed by them that I used to follow him when he used to come like a puppy behind him and see what he's doing, what, how he takes out the pen, how he's talking, this, that. And surprisingly, after I did my graduation in structure, I wrote to him and immediately replied he joined me. So I worked with him for a few months and it was quite an interesting exchange of ideas. Then I started in Bombay. I was always interested in greenery. All my buildings have a greenery because I came from the family of agriculturists. So I have done more than 100 buildings, which is not, one is not like the other. I have never repeated myself, but all has a practically the garden, a small garden patch in them. I was tremendously influenced by Mughal architecture and Urdu poetry. It softens the everything effect of what you see in Mughal architecture. The proportions are so good, it is pleasing to eye and makes it very, very important and it becomes a part of human thinking. It is not, it is away from the human thinking. So, somehow or other, 
all these patients become successful and I could do so much work in India and abroad. Any advice to young architects? Young architects should have their own style. Don't follow any particular style. You have your own tremendous choice. You got a lot of choice of material now. So do, do it. But most important thing, keep in mind, you give something new to the people, not something that has been repeated, overdone, and all sorts of things. So give it a tremendous opportunity for young architects because tremendous development is going on and now. Today the architecture is only in big cities and small cities. Imagine tomorrow villages started developing. How much architects will be needed and how much architects can do to do that? Thank you. I believe we have somebody from the family to receive the award on his behalf. So I request you to come on the stage and receive the award. Ladies and gentlemen, this should go on. Let's clap very loudly for this award.